high level. I love the software, use it every day to run my business, help clients, but let's talk about their website. It kind of sucks. In this video, I'm gonna show you why and how I turned this website into this. I know they're crushing it regardless, but I thought this would be a cool video to make. And if you're a business that has a website on high level, I'm gonna show you a few mistakes that you want to avoid, which could be hurting your conversions, so you can fix these and start getting more clients. With that, let's jump into my computer and at the end, you can let me know how I did. All right, so the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm first gonna show you a section on Go High Level's website, and then I'll show you my actual site or what I redesigned. As you take a look at this right here, the first thing that you see is that in this main hero section, there's too much going on. You even see that there's like two videos right here. At a first glance, a prospect might get confused or distracted because there's so many things that are competing for attention. Something else is that in this hero section right here, you see that the main headline and the sub headline have the same hierarchy, meaning that in this case, they both have the same font size. All of the buttons throughout the website are red and subconsciously for some users, the color red might be associated with stop, warning, caution. So even though this is the main call to action, which we want users to sign up to the platform, the fact that subconsciously there might be an association with a color that makes it so that it's hard might be creating resistance in getting clients to sign up for the platform. In this case, what I did is that first of all, it start with a very clear, easy to read value prop. So in this case, it says supercharge your business with one platform that does it all and then have a smaller sub headline as opposed to what you saw right here, which both of them had the same font size. The next thing that I did is add this section right here for social proof. This makes it so a prospect is a lot more compelled to actually sign up just because in this case, it says that the software has a 4.9 rating on 3200 reviews. And I got this from their actual Google My Business reviews. Instead of having buttons that were red, what I did is make it so that it's green. I know that green is one of the colors that they use and green is more positively associated with a green light, go, get started. The next thing that I want you to notice is that my main call to actions right here are both start for free. And in this case, you see that these two buttons had the same hierarchy, but they were four completely different actions. So instead, what I would do is make it so that the login is a little bit smaller compared to the get started. Here, I've made it very easy so that if a prospect was to get started, they would just put their email right here, start for free and continue the sign up process. Instead of having this section in such a way where it looked a little bit cluttered, what I did instead is if you take a look at this right here, this is how I presented the stats showing more social proof, making sure that other people or potential users know that this software is widely recognized and there's a lot of users and validity on the platform. Next, I wanted to address the question that a prospect might have, which is what is high level? So here, let's pretend that this was a explainer video, which very quickly shows what high level is, what the benefits are and how a potential business or agency can benefit by signing up to this platform. If you take a look at this right here, the way that I switch sections is by having this section here kind of like in the middle, but it helps make the transition a little bit more smoothly as opposed to having that stark contrast. And second, Second of all, it keeps providing further social proof. If I go to the site right here, you see that this looks very stripy. So just making sure that we add a transition like this. And the way that I would do this on high level is that if you take a look at this right here, this is what the actual site on high level looks like. If I scroll down here to the image, I made it so that I added a negative padding just to make it so that that section kind of intersects where the boundary of the two sections is. Something else that I noticed is that for some of these sections, there's a lot of text and a prospect might not necessarily read read all of this text. So what I did instead is that if you take a look at this right here, this section makes it very easy for a prospect to know what high level can achieve for them. Generate, nurture and close all from one place. That's the main value prop. And at the same time, it supports this initial claim right here. If you take a look at some of the graphics that high level uses on their own site, you see that this is a little bit too complicated, too much text, which at this point might not convey as much information as to what the platform actually does. And instead makes it so the platform looks a little bit complicated to use just because there's so much detail in these images. Instead, what I did is if you take a look at the graphics right here, you see that this graphic is very interactive, very easy to understand and has enough detail for a prospect to see, okay, this is a calendar, a dashboard, conversations and payments without showing too much detail and still shows the platform as easy to use. All of the graphics that you see on this website, like this one, or even these ones right here, we actually created in Photoshop. So if you take a look at this right here, you can see that there's different layers and you can just move around stuff. And we build these from scratch. So you see that they're fully customizable. You can see that we can change the colors, the shapes and so on. Now going back to the website that I designed right here, the way that I wanted to present my features in 
in a way that's easy for a prospect to understand is like this right here. You see that here it says, what can you do with high level? And then instead of talking about actual features, we talk about benefits, automate marketing, convert more leads, create courses, and so on. The way that this section looks on the website editor is if you take a look at this right here, you'll see that first I have a four column row, and then we have a three column row, which I've made it so that it's a little bit more narrow. As I was mentioning earlier, these are graphics that show what the feature or the benefit is without providing too much detail, which is something that we saw with other software companies. So products, you can see like something about inventory here about courses, you see some sort of course and so on. If I keep scrolling down right here for the testimonial section, I wanted to make it so that it says real results from real clients. And then here it would be a section of video testimonials where different users to provide further social proof, which I think is something they already have right here. So this is what they currently have. And this is what I came up with, just making sure that the way that we present these testimonials is in a way that's easy for a prospect to consume. Something else that I did is if you take a look at this right here, I added even more testimonials that move in a very dynamic way. This is something that I saw on other SaaS companies. And the way that this is on high level is that if I scroll right here, you see that this is like two different sections that I've animated and I've made it so that the first section goes in one direction and the other section goes in the other direction. For the features, instead of showing them, as I mentioned already, kind of like this, which are a little bit hard for a prospect to understand, what I've done is everything in one easy to use platform. And then as you scroll right here, you see that this section is very beautiful, showing different features or benefits that a prospect might get when they sign up for the platform. So in this case, it says avoid losing sales while you're away, talking about the miss called text pack. And you also see that there's other benefits accompanied with this custom graphics that we created in Photoshop. Now here you see that as I hover over these different images right here, they become bigger or even here as I hover over these images, they pop or they float. The way that we did this is with CSS. The way that you can do this on high level is that if you take a look at the editor right here, if I click this right here where it says custom CSS, I've added this piece of code right here. And then what you'll do is copy the name of this custom class right here. And then for any image that you have, you can just go to advanced and then add that custom class right here. And it'll make it so that every time that you hover over your images, they become bigger just like this. The last section that I redesigned was the pricing right here. Something that I noticed is that this font is not easy on the eye or for some reason for me, it's a little bit hard to read. So what I did is change it from this to something a little bit more friendly like this. This makes it very user interactive, very easy to understand. Now, because of the fact that this plan right here has this outline right here, makes it so a user will focus their attention here and make it more likely to sign up for this plan right here. That is how I redesign Go High Level website, a little bit more modern and more user friendly. Now, if you're an agency that has a website on high level that is not getting you any clients, that looks boring, that looks cheap, I have three different agency templates that I've created. If you would like to transform your agency website, click the link in the description and get your own copy. A website like this would usually cost an agency or a SaaS company two, three, even $5,000, but you can get this beautiful website for just a fraction of the cost. Click the link in the description and get this for your agency.